Many members of the Stockton community are coming together to help the police officer who was left paralyzed after the motorcycle he was on crashed with a vehicle. It was very much, you know, um, upsetting because we don't want to see anybody, you know, any of our officers injured. Officer James Nance will remain in a long-term rehab facility. He talked about his injury and his recovery in a letter to the community. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is in Stockton to show us the officer's long road ahead. Unfortunately, on August 28th, while doing what I love, I was hit by a car and critically injured. Stockton Police Lieutenant Catherine Nance is reading a letter written by her husband, motorcycle officer James Nance. He was critically injured last month while conducting a distracted driving enforcement operation. I have both excitement and trepidation about my release date and returning to the real world. But I am working on putting that in the back of my mind so I can just concentrate on learning all of the skills I need to be independent. Nance announced he will never walk again. The 19-year veteran of the department suffered a spinal cord injury after his motorcycle collided with an SUV. That letter was read during the luncheon for the United Way of San Joaquin County, which is now helping raise money for the officer and his family. The organization has already raised more than $10,000, but it's not the only help the officer is getting. The Stockton Police Officers Association provides members like Nance financial and emotional support. It was very much, you know, um, upsetting because we don't want to see anybody, you know, any of our officers injured. The association calls the incident a tragedy, and so do many community members who have been praying for Officer Nance's quick recovery. It's very important. We have to show, you know, th that's one thing I've always known about Stockton. We are a caring community, you know, even the poorest of the poor. And they see someone they really need to help and will be willing to help. Just focus on getting better. Our prayers are with you. Officer Dan spent 13 days in intensive care and since the accident has undergone several surgeries. He'll continue with physical therapy. The crash that caused his injury remains under investigation.